Hello and welcome to Conan Chop Chop. Yes, you may be a little put off by the graphic style. Now, personally, I really don't mind. I think it's very charming and I think it has a wonderfully cute aesthetic, I guess you could call it. Anyway, if you'd like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. This is going to be available as a demo in Steam Next Fest. And I highly recommend if you're interested at all in purchasing the game, add it to your Steam wishlist as well. Anyway, this has to be probably one of the better roguelite games that I've seen in recent times because you can literally play online with people. You can play online with, uh, with others. Obviously, it's not available at the moment because this is, of course, a demo. But I have played through the tutorial just now. And personally, I feel like the gameplay is tight. I feel like the controls are very polished. And they do recommend to use a controller but that actually did not affect my ability to play the game whatsoever. You can easily play this with a keyboard without any issues at all. Anyway, let's start and see what we can do. Obviously, because this is a rogue light, we are going to have the ability to have a sort of um, out of game uh, progression system or shall we say an out of combat progression system where you're going to be able to unlock certain abilities and uh, upgrade your characters as you go. Anyway, you can see here obviously because this is in the Conan, U Conan universe you're going to be able to select Conan himself and you can see here that they have a wide variety of different skills that you're going to be able to unlock as well. So at the moment we only have two skills available. You have a dash and you have an ultimate. Dashing is used with spacebar and ultimate is used with the Z or Z key. Either way, the fact is you can use an ultimate ability and it's super, super nice. Anyway, they also have particular stats. So you can see here there's move speed and they also have strength or attack speed, whatever that may be. And it seems like most people are relatively similar with the exception of their dash. Their dash is going to be a little bit different. So for example, Conan has Angry Leap, and it means he leaps forward and slams into the ground, stunning and dealing damage to all enemies hit. Uh, Bellet has a, uh, a combat role. Pa Palantides, pa Palantides, Palan... Uh, just forget it, forget it. I'm terrible at pronouncing those kinds of names. Valeria right here, dashes forward, dealing damage to all enemies hit. Also inflicts bleed if wielding a sword. That sounds pretty fun. Okay, I'm going to play as her by the looks of things. So let's start and see what we can do. Now, obviously, because this is a roguelite, everything is very much randomized. I'm going to be skipping the story for the most part because if you want to play this demo yourself, then it is a very, very quick download. And I basically want to get into the gameplay because I want to show you exactly what it's all about. And you can also unlock various other weapons and equipment back at the town. If you find a particular resource, you can go to the blacksmith and you can unlock all that stuff there. Anyway. Darkwood. Creepy, dark, and full of wood. Seek out the dungeon in Darkwood for the first step in your adventure. And uh, this, I gotta say, is quite Zelda-esque. So if you're a fan of Zelda at all, then you're probably gonna have a really, really fun time here. So for example, look at this. Parries replenish one dash charge. Yeah, this game has parries, by the way. Yeah, it has a parry system. And I'm actually thinking that maybe um, some people are going to very much like that. It is definitely skill-based. Summon a pet slime that flings itself at enemies. Let's do it. I've got a pet slime now. Look at how cute. Look at how cute that is. Oh yes, I like that. All right, so yeah, there's a bunch of other things that we can do here so we can increase our health as you see. Explosions deal plus 20% damage as well. You also have a ranged attack too. Oh, there's a halberd. Damaging ranged attacks. Uh, grant 33% critical chance for 4 seconds, stacks 3 times. I might actually buy that. It doesn't do that much damage though, I mean, in comparison to what I currently have, right? I mean, let me take a look at my inventory real fast. Yeah, I have this at the moment, Valyria's bl Blade. It actually does 20 damage and the Halberd only does 19, so I'm basically just going to leave it. Steel Fire is the resource that I was talking about earlier, where you can go to the blacksmith and you can upgrade yourself. Okay, so where do I go? Darkwood, right? Where where is where is Darkwood actually? Do I need to go? Oh, there we go. Uh, I have no idea whether this is actually the right way, but I am apparently going this way in anyway. So 
Yeah, so you can also parry these kinds of um, these kinds of ranged attacks too. Ow, I walked into that. And you can reflect these um, these abilities against the opponent, which is actually really really useful. And personally, I find this game to be really, really responsive. I was not expecting anything super tight, but the controls are really good. Uh, I, I am not exaggerating about that at all. It is very, very true. I am getting hit by a wide variety of things because I'm just so bad at these kinds of games. Ah, it's terrible. But, ooh, the bleed effect from the dash is actually super nice. I should really use that much more. Hello there. Ooh, that's a that's an that looks like an elite slime or something. Yep, that is definitely a, that is a that is a boss slime of some kind. But yeah, there we go. Let's try and bleed that guy. You know, I can basically just use the dash. It does have a cooldown, by the way. The dash does have a cooldown, so obviously you're gonna have to be a little bit wary of that, just to make sure that you don't overextend yourself and spend too many resources on something that is not really gonna work for you too much. Now you can see down in the bottom right, we do have a mini map as well. Obviously the mini map's gonna be very, very useful as you do need to make sure you don't get lost. You know, it's me after all, so we're probably gonna get lost at some point. What are these things? Oh, I just killed myself. There, it's a bomb. It's a bomb, all right, so I died. Yes, I died, but that's okay because here's the thing. It, it, it actually gives you experience, yes. It actually gives you experience. So let's take a look. Okay, yep, I gained a very small amount of experience because I was basically not able to really do anything. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do a quick retry right there, and we're gonna go straight back in. And that's the point. Generally, as I've said, if you are able to get decent amount of experience, then you can unlock additional gear, and that is obviously going to be very useful for you. Okay, so I have some steel fire now as well, by the way. So as you can see. I now have steel fire, so I'm going to need, as you see here, I need 15 steel fire to be able to unlock any of these new weapons. And generally, you are very much going to need that kind of stuff. Because it's just, I mean, it's just way too good to say anything else, really. Okay, let's go this way instead. Okay, this, this might be. This might not go too well. Okay, uh, yeah, I have a bow as well, by the way. I don't, I don't know whether I mentioned this, but yeah, that um, regenerates ammo over time by the looks of things as well. I'm gonna dash. There we go. I'm just going to try and apply as much bleed as possible to the opponent because generally, if I can continue dealing damage over time, that is pretty much all I really want to do. You know, then I don't have to worry about it myself. I can basically just allow the bleed to do most of the damage. And yes, indeed, look at that. That seems to be working really, really nicely. There's also a chest here. Oh, nice. We also gained a key. And a key is going to be used to open a golden chest. Going to look forward to finding one of those if we actually do find one. Let's just block that. There we go. Get that out the way. And I'm actually going to be playing a little bit better now because I was obviously not playing very well before at all. So we're just going to try and dodge some stuff now. There we are. Got some more steel fire. I'm going to shoot these this time so that I don't actually kill myself in the process. There we have it. And there's also a chest down here. There's another slime. Just going to shoot that a little bit. And there's also an exit down here too. So you have a, a different, uh, different way that you can go. There's obviously multiple paths that you can take. So it's obviously all up to your own decision making. And uh, well, basically I really, wait a minute, is this a secret right here? Mm, I, I, I seem to see something on the map that might indicate that there's something here that maybe I can, maybe I can find it. No, it doesn't seem like it. All right, well, let's just go this way. Oh, hello there. Okay, I'm going to want this guy to come over here so that we can explode this thing. Oh, that did nothing. That literally did nothing. That that was very, very sad. Oh, dear. 
Okay, well, the best thing that I can do is just try to apply the bleed. There we go. And we're just going to try and bait out their attacks, and then I'll go to town on one of them. Just to sort of get him a little bit lower. And then we're just going to dash through the big one and do as much damage. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, I actually lost a little bit of HP there, but I gained it back by slaying the elite one, which is nice. But yeah, I really like the fact that most of the attacks in this game are very heavily telegraphed. So it's more of a case of skill rather than just being like, oh, I got hit because of not enough feedback or I got hit and I feel I feel like it's unfair, you know, those kinds of games that do that kind of stuff. It's not uh, not, not great. You know, it's not great when that happens, but this game does not have that problem. So that's really nice. I'm going to just try to dash away as much as I possibly can. I'm not really a big fan of blocking in these kinds of games. I generally prefer to dodge. And now we can open this up. What is this? Aha! We've gained a new shield. That's an epic one, too. Parries grant one bomb or arrow at no cost. Ice effects deal 30% increased damage. Guard is increased by 30%. And parries inflict stun for one second longer. I'm going to be equipping that. Thank you. Very nice. Okay, so that gold icon on the mini-map seems to represent... Either extremely good treasure, uh, extremely good treasure, or maybe a, a difficult enemy. So that is good to know as well. Anyway, let's move down here. We got some more regular enemies now, which is obviously fine with me. No problem at all there. So we have some more... Wait a minute. Do we have some more enemies? Yeah, we have some more enemies down here. I'm going to just reflect that. There we go. Let's uh, shoot a couple of arrows while I have full ammunition. You know, you've got to make the most of it. And we are we are doing a lot better this time. That's for sure. We are doing so much better than before. Oh, is this a boss? No, no. Here we go. Here we go. We're actually moving into Darkwood by the look of things. Hello, piggy. Hello, piggy. All right, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, so this, you can uh, eat meat, basically, to restore health. That is what generally restores health. What's this? When at full ammo, melee attacks have a chance to cause an explosion. This is a trait of some kind, uh, very much roguelike based, you know, so you, you basically just buy this and then you have that trait and instead of having this one. So you have different ones that you're going to be able to utilize. Okay, so what's this? Aha, uh -huh, another short bow. I don't really... Mm, do I really care about that too much? No, not really. Many of our bravest warriors faced off against Thothamon Thoth and have never returned. Okay, well, that's, that's good to know, I suppose. But anyway, that was basically a merchant area. And now we can do something here. Oh, nice. Got some, got some health back. That's always good. Uh, uh, no, oh, no, no. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Thank you. Oh, block that. Thank you. Okay, yeah, uh, this is this is a, slight, a slightly um, slightly problematic situation. I really need to eliminate the plant. There we are. Nice. Well, that new trait is really making a huge difference. It seems to do super amounts of damage. I really like that. Okay, I'm going to have, have a hard time finding something that um, is as good as that, at least. Look at how much damage we're dealing in AoE now as well. That's super nice. And if I need to, I can, of course, block and dodge and all that wonderful stuff, too. Okay, let me just move over here. I want to eliminate this little guy first so that we can deal with the elite by himself. You know what? I'm going to get carried away playing this game, and I basically said that I wouldn't play too much of any of the demos in this Steam Next Fest, because generally I feel like I want to play as much as I can get my hands on, because there are so many good titles. There are really, really so many good titles, and generally I don't want to miss out on any good ones, and this is definitely one of the good ones, so you probably want to check it out yourself. There is a link in the description for this game. And generally, if you are a fan of roguelites at all, and you don't even have to really care about the Conan, um, the Conan universe, really. I mean, it's not 
not particularly necessary to really know anything about it. But if you do care about that, then, well, there you go. There's a little bit of lore to be had, I suppose. I'm actually not entirely sure about that. Ow. Oh, I got hit by that. That was not particularly good. I was actually trying to avoid getting hit by it, but yeah, completely failed by the looks of things. I have 26 steel core now, which is actually super nice. Hello there. This seems to be a bit of a regeneration area. Okay, so can I... Can I stand? Can I stand here or... No, this does not heal me. Oh, that's actually sad. I was kind of hoping that it would heal me, but no, it was actually just an enemy healing place, which is kind of not so fun, but oh well, never mind. Okay, so now we have... Ah, now we have reached another merchant. Fantastic. So we have Raider's Armor. Damaging explosions replenish 15%. Explosions deal plus 20%. Yeah, I, I'm probably going to buy this, just generally because the thing that I had on before is this, and it's pretty awful, right? So yeah, we're not going to do that. Drop an extra bomb with each drop. Yeah, by the way, there is a bomb system in the game as well. So for example, if I were to press Q, boom, there's a bomb, and then it explodes a little bit of time later. So yeah, there's, there's also that. So if you are concerned with an obstacle or a number of enemies then you can very easily just use a bomb and then they're probably going to get killed. Ah, look at this. We can actually use our golden key. And what's this? Throw your melee weapon like a boomerang instead. Ooh, that sounds fun. Look at that. There we go. Now I'm without a melee weapon, though. This is going to be a little bit problematic. Prepare yourself. A dungeon. Okay, let us go into the dungeon. I am going to get absolutely murdered in here, but I do not mind. I'm looking forward to it, sir. Ooh, that was some nice damage right there. I actually really like this. I actually really like the fact that they give you the ability to change your attack in some meaningful way. And this, there's actually a bit of skill involved in hitting with this boomerang weapon as well. Because if you think about it, you need to maximize the time that the enemy is near to the spinning weapon. And doing that is actually much more difficult than you might think. So you need to gauge the range of your ability much more than you would imagine but it's doing super nicely oh and an iron longsword give me that thank you very much okay let me just dash by that now we can do some e now we can do even more damage look at how much damage we're dealing right now super nice this guy is not even going to get to me i don't think nope he wasn't able to very nice okay can i go in here yes i can oh gotta be careful gotta be careful okay i'm just gonna dash a little bit and bear in mind that positioning also makes a big difference with this kind of playstyle too, because if I can actually dash behind a particular enemy, then I might be able to get them hit on the return of the weapon, which is actually amazing in itself. So that's something to bear in mind. Nice damage. Nice damage. And there we go. Look at that. Nice. Wow. So much damage we're dealing right now. We are streaming through this we really are um unfortunately this is a dead end and i don't have another golden key so i won't be able to open up that other chest which i am now forever disappointed by oh my oh well never mind never mind okay so now we're just going to have to do this oh no ah i can't believe i got hit by that that was really bad oh he actually goes through the wall really i had no idea well that's kind of useful I'm actually thinking I'm, you know, I'm actually thinking that I might just want to die on purpose just so that I can maybe buy a new, you know, new default weapon or something like that and then just come back. But we are doing so well right now that I don't really want to do that until we absolutely have to. Ah, and then, of course, I would get hit. There's another bomb guy, but he's an elite. There we go. Got some more steel fire right there. But yeah, this is absolutely the kind of game that I can see myself sinking a lot of hours into because it's literally one of those games that you just go, ah, just one more run, just one more room, you know, one more level, whatever, you know, that kind of, that kind of experience. And the fact that a lot of the, um, should we say, a lot of the resources that you are picking up it's super satisfying. I don't know whether you've noticed that so far, but it's super satisfying to pick up these items because they're all very shiny. They all make an extremely satisfying and enjoyable sound associated with them as well. And they very much 
do a good job on that. They really do. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, this guy's also elite. Okay, I'm just going to move past him. Just going to make him, uh, you know, make him explode. There we are. And then we can do this. And obviously, you're going to have to make sure that you clear out all of the enemies in a particular room before you can leave. Because you can't just leave, you know, normally. There we have it. Okay, so now let me just go over here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably... I mean, now that I've shown you the game, I kind of want to move on. Because, you, don't get me wrong, I'm going to purchase this myself. I am literally going to purchase this, this game myself when it comes out. And we're going to die on purpose here. Okay, so let's have a look and see just how much experience I've gained from an extended run. Because we actually did really, really nicely this time around. Cause of death needed better hand-eye coordination. Well, <laughs> Yeah, that actually uh, might make sense. Anyway, there we go. We are now at level 3 as well. I would have been able to very easily go further, but yeah. Anyway, Warrior Select. And this is going to give you the ability to determine some, some level ups, as far as I'm aware. So I'm going to have one skill point available, or she's going to be able to gain something. So yeah, for example, let me go through to my skills. Can I do that right here? Mm, why... Why can I not why can I not do that? Okay, that's kind of weird. Because Conan has his ultimate, because I unlocked it in the tutorial as far as I'm aware, but I don't have Valeria's, so I'm not entirely sure whether that's just a demo thing or maybe I'm doing something wrong. It might very well be that I'm doing something wrong potentially. Uh yeah, I'm I'm not entirely sure about that. Maybe I need to go into the town and then spend my uh, spend my ability point somewhere here potentially. That that could be it, and that might make sense. But I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, if you'd like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. Highly recommended, and it's just a, a great deal of fun. It really is. Highly recommended though. And uh, aim, uh, add it to your Steam wishlist. This is the guy, by the way. Here we go. Yeah, this is the guy for your ultimate. So Valyria becomes a whirling tornado of death, dealing damage to all enemies around her for the duration. And you can, of course, now unlock that. And there you go. Done. And, of course, I could have unlocked a variety of other abilities as well. So if, if I wanted to unlock an ability for other people, then I could do that too. And these all have different play styles and all wonderful things like that. And, of course, I have a lot of steel fire too. So I'm now able to buy a better base weapon if I want, which is probably a good idea. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.